Ring, tick. Venue, tick. Now all that's left to do is get the dress, hairdresser, and makeup. So if your wedding to-do list is weighing you down, then today we're giving you a little bit of inspiration. After all the engagement at Christmas and Valentine's, it's that time of year where everyone is starting to prep and plan for their wedding. So we're going behind the scenes of a shoot for Irish Wedding Diary to give you some inspiration for your big day. Bronzy soft tones are the name of the game when it comes to bridal makeup. And don't forget to exfoliate. I have gone with Charlotte Tilbury um, palette for her eyes um, and I've used an Inglot foundation which is lovely, matte finish, so it won't go shiny during the day or anything. And do you have any tips for brides on how to keep their makeup looking fresh and dewy all day long? Do you tell them to pack powder? What do you tell them? Well, usually um, when I'm doing a trial with a bride, the first thing I would start with is skincare because it is so important leading up to the wedding, do you know, and some people don't think about that. So to get the skin right beforehand makes all the difference for how it lasts on the day. And what do brides usually request for their wedding day? Soft curls pinned up, small bit of back combing and just very loosely gathered up and soft. Um, in darker hair the vintage look is really good because you've got a lot of structure mm -hmm. and you can show it off in the dark hair whereas in the blonde hair the curl really looks well in the blonde hair. Mm. So you got to work with what you've got. <laughs> you do, really and truly, yeah, definitely. And what suits you and what suits your dress. Then it's time to decide what kind of dress to choose. Are you more of a sexy bride or do you feel like channeling princess vibes? The Mark Leslie, it's, uh, it's quite a popular dress, I have to say. It's for the sexier bride. You know, you're still covered up, but it's showing a beautiful physique. It has a beautiful train and that's what we're seeing a lot of at the moment. Magnificent trains on dresses as well. So for the second dress then, this is a bit more like fairy tale princessy. Yeah, so another one, again, the princess dress is in use a style that's still continuing this year. So it's a beautiful, the dress that we have today is a jasmine from the Jasmine Collection. And you were also telling me earlier, which is important to know, that it can sometimes take six to eight months for a dress to arrive. Absolutely. I think cardinal rule with wedding dress shopping is give yourself plenty of time. The whole process can take up to a year. Dresses, once they're ordered, take six to eight months. You know, some bridal boutiques are talking four weeks out before you can get an appointment. And you need to take alterations and bits and bobs like that into account in shoe shopping. So I would say to any bride, give yourself the year to go gown shopping. The Irish Wedding Diary Spring Issue is out now.